Welcome back to the shop everyone. I am back with a short video on this particular Yamaha Rhino. This is a 2007 660 Rhino and this will also apply to the earlier 2006. Actually this video will apply to any carbureted Rhino out there. You clicked on this video because your Rhino was probably like this one was and it was super notorious, hard to start if it had been sitting for any length of time or if it was a little bit cold out. This particular one would turn over until the battery was dead. If you're having similar issues or if you're having just hard starting period, stick around because I came up with a solution that's pretty genius and I think you'll like it. Before we get started, I think it's important to understand the fuel system. So right down here we have our fuel tank. This line here is where the fuel gets drawn up from. It gets pumped by this vacuum pump and down this tube into the carburetor. So like I was just mentioning, this particular item is vacuum assisted. Before we get into any modifications, I would say it's very important that you check your valve lash or your valve clearance. The information for that can be found right over here on the roll bar. And once you've done that, you can be sure that you're getting enough vacuum to this pump so it should operate as prescribed. If that still doesn't work and you know that your pump is good, you can do what I did. I simply added in line a primer ball, just like you see here, it comes right from the tank in line, goes through the primer ball down into the pump which pressurizes through the pump and fills the carburetor bowl down here. This also does one other thing if your bike uh, hasn't been sitting for too too long you, uh, you have a reserve of fuel right up in this ball so this pump doesn't have to work half as hard to draw fuel from the tank rather than that it'll draw it right from here. Hopefully this will help someone out there that's having an issue with these engines not starting or having a real hard time starting because this is what I've done and it works fantastic. This thing starts like a dream now. Another important note I should mention is when you install this, make sure that the directional arrow is in the flow of the uh, going towards the carburetor. So as you can see right here, there's an arrow. If you had that backwards, that would not pump fuel into the carburetor rather we try and pump it back into tank. Hopefully this is educational for someone out there. I really hope it helps a few other people because I scratched my head for many 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 years trying to figure out what was going on. I was going to install a primer system and a whole bunch of other stuff and an electrical pump but then that wasn't going to work because this is a carburetor not a fuel injection system. Again hopefully this helps out and as always thanks for watching if this video was informative, give me a thumbs up and also comment down below. Let me know what you think of your Rhino. Until next time, have fun.